Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so in the last episode we made our heavy modular frames. Oh yeah. But in order to keep going with this technology, we need to start getting into computers. Because we can make the motors, we can make the heavy modular frames, and now, and now we need to make computers. And oh my god, a thousand? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see that before. Oh, okay, so that's cool. That's that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, that's going to be our goal today. We're going to be making computers. Uh, in order to make computers, we will go to our handy dandy super sweet setup we got going on here. In order to make computers, we're going to need 10 circuit boards, 12 cable, 18 plastic, and 60 screws. Oh yeah. And this is going to generate us 1.875 per minute. Wow, so you're almost making two computers per minute. Almost. Um, or in order to make circuit boards, this is one thing we're going to have to start getting into our plastic for. We're going to need uh, 12 wire and uh, 6 plastic, which is not too, too, too bad. So this is uh, our plan to for today. We are going to try to get this up to. It was how many? How many? How many? I think it was by ten. I wanted to go ten of these things. So we're going to be making eighteen, almost eh, almost nineteen of these per minute. I think that that's today's goal. Yeah, I think that would be good. Good, that'd be very good. <laughs> so we're gonna need uh, a whole bunch of stuff. My lord, um, the circuit boards and the uh, those have to be done in assemblers. So those got to be 19 assemblers. We're gonna need just for that. Uh, let's go for a little ride here. Um, the cables. That's not so bad. That's. Uh, 10 constructors making wires and 15 constructors making the uh, the cables itself. Uh, we're going to have to build in, uh, I think it was 337.5 plastic per minute um, in order to get this to work. Uh, right now our belt speed is 270. We're kind of like shorthanded on that right now. Um, so in the meantime, what I did uh, in between episodes is I made this cool little bridge going from over here to over there. And what this is carting in is this is bringing in our plastic and our rubber from way over there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Like I, I can't, I probably won't let it join just because of the fact that the walls are going to intersect each other on the inside and it's going to look real ugly and everything. So. I'll probably just end up leaving that gap there. Um, and then when I build the building around it, it'll look a lot nicer. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe doing a second level to that if I have to. At one point or another, I probably will. But this also gives us our own rubber and plastic lines. The uh, reason why I didn't join in with this one is because at one point of the game, you're going to be using a lot more rubber and plastic. So these are probably going to be like dedicated lines at one point or another. Like I'm only going to be able to have so many machines connected to one line before it's the belt speed isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to work. And then I'll have to implement another belt on top of that. So that's why I left no roof on top of that. So that might get a little bit taller depending on how many lines we bring down. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, like I said, in the last uh, episode, we made our heavy modular frames. This is slowly starting to back up. We got a little bit uh, going on in that bin over there as well. And I think that's about it. Yeah, so I'm going to start building the first layer. The first layer, I think we're going to do the cable and the screws all on the same floor. And then the assemblers for making the circuit boards will come in on the second floor and then the 10 constructors will be on the last floor and then that's when we cart in most of most of the plastic is to actually make the circuit board and uh, to make the computers itself the circuit boards uh, use about 30 that's 570 per minute Ooh, that's still quite a bit that's still quite a bit so in the end, we got to be carting in here about almost 900, over, yeah, about 900 and some friggin' plastic per minute. Oh, baby. Wow. Um, I wonder how that's going to work. 
Well, we'll just keep trying to do the overflow method. That's all I'm going to say for that. Um, that's for darn sure. I, I do know that this is, like, super inefficient, just for everybody that is watching. Like, it's just I wanted to try out an entire factory on overflow, and then the next time I play on a different map, I'm going to do the load balancing. So, yeah, I got a lot of work ahead of me, so I'm going to get started on uh, bringing these screws in, and or doing the screws, and doing the... Uh, the cables down here, so I'll go ahead and start setting up that floor, and then once I get it all done, uh, the first floor, I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done in the whole nine yards and explain it, and off we go, man. Yeehaw. Alrighty, so now we got the whole first floor done. We got uh, the wire being made into copper. Uh, well, the copper being made into wire, the wire being made into cable. That's the ones I wanted to say. <laughs> On this side, we got the iron. The iron's being made into rods, and the rods is going to be made into screws. Uh, screws are all going to come out to the front, and same with all the wires going to come out to the front. So that's a pretty decent sized floor we got going on here right now. It's pretty awesome. No complaints, no complaints. Lots of room for assemblers. We got 19 of them to put up top, so uh, a row of 10 and a row of 9. Uh, that will be making all of our computer chips. Um, yeah, yeah, they'll be making all the computer chips. Just that one level. And then the next one above it, which will be the last floor, it will have our 10 constructors up there. That's where the screws will go. Then the chips will go up there. Uh, more plastic will be heading up that way. And I think there's one more thing, but I can't remember what it is. Plastic, screws, ah, well, we'll get to it when we get there. <laughs> all right, so all that's left to do is um, try to get down these ladder here. All right, so that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay, now, what I would really like to see on ladders is a prompt, like where you run up to the ladder and you go, oh, look, eat a grab. You grab the ladder and you go up and down. That would be friggin' awesome. That would be great. Just a prompt. You know, it's not, I'm sure it's not that hard to put in. Small little prompt saying, E, grab ladder, and then go up and down the ladder. Uh, I think that would be so much better. Yeah, so much better. Um, so all we left got left to do now is to hook the power up. So if we go like this and like that, all of these should start making what they gotta make. So we'll uh, get a little bit of a head start on making some screws and all the good stuff. The screws and the uh, the wire and the cable. So there we go. Everything's going to be making stuff. Everything's going to fill up. And yeah. So by the time this factory is done though, we're going to put a huge power strain on our on our on our reserves there. Uh, right now we're about six to seven hundred. And then I guess once this factory gets all up and running, can I do it? Ah, oh, nice. Once this factory gets up and running, I'm assuming we're going to hit the, uh, oh, get the volume down there. I'm assuming we're going to hit the, about the, oh, I don't know, man. It all depends on how much plastic we're going to be making. Because that factory over here uses a hell of a lot of energy. But I figure we're going to at least be at 1500 energy by the time we're done this factory. Or close to it. So, yeah. Oh boy. It's going to be a lot of energy being needed. And then after that, I think we're going to have to go and uh, do some... Uh, obviously do some upgrading because we're going to have the computers in order to make uh, get to the next tier. And then I think we're going to be able to do some gas. So we might use one node at least just for some extra energy until uh, we can get some more energy things unlocked in the game. So, all right, so I'm going to start up on the second level now, uh, all the assemblers, and get that all going. And we'll be back there shortly. <laughs> All right, so now we got the second floor all nice and done. Oh my god, so busy, so busy, so busy. All right, so these are the... I made 20 assemblers instead of 19. I figured, you know, why not? Let's do the extra one. And then going all the way around them, I have all the wire being made for the circuit boards. Um, 
that's 25 I think I have I think I got 25 of them here I think I'm, I'm required was required 26 but I was only able to fit 25 so no real big deal it's uh, it should still all work out just fine and uh, yeah I got the whole plastic all hooked up and I got the uh, excuse me the um, copper all hooked up now let's put the power onto this and everything should be making wire and then all that wire should come out and should loop all the way around over here this is kinda messed up uh, it'll loop all the way around in here so once we get enough wire wire is gonna start coming through here here we go we got the wire coming and that is gonna get evenly distributed well evenly it's gonna get distributed throughout all of our our things to make circuit boards so that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome so circuit boards are all gonna come out here at one point or another they're gonna come out of this one first because that's the first one to receive the uh, the wire right as we can see it's all gonna flow into here and eventually overflow and gonna make its way all the way around so yeah it's gonna take a little bit we only make 10 per minute but I think uh, the wire comes in fast enough that we should be able to overflow these pretty easily in my opinion anyways we should be able to get all the way around and it shouldn't be much of an issue uh, everything is always like a little bit of a warm-up phase but uh, yeah it's going pretty good come along pretty good Here, there we go there's our first circuit boards being created look at that isn't that wicked <whistles> sexy all right, so we'll give you a little recap of what's going on down here. Pretty busy down here too. Uh, all right, so our plastic goes in. Oh, by the way, the power thing. Oof, we are on the verge of not having any power. <laughs> let me go find a power pole here. Like, let me show you this. I had to turn. I had to turn off three quarters of that. Um, the only thing that's running is this first side right here intense intense so right now we're sucking up about uh, I was telling you we're getting close to the thousand mark there and that's what's feeding uh, all of this friggin plastic now so we're gonna start using up a, a lot of plastic so the next episode uh, we're definitely definitely gonna have to go make some uh, some uh, some power upgrades and I think we're gonna go with gas uh, we still have one oil node that's out there, so we're gonna go after that. Um, so here we got uh, what well, we got: our plastic going in, and then our plastics coming out over here. Uh, this is the first going in for to making the cable that we're gonna be using to make, uh, I guess, our computers. Uh, this is the return out of it. Um, here we got uh, all these uh, iron going in making just screws and there's our return for the plastic here's our entry for the wire that we're making upstairs here's the return for the copper that we're using there and uh, now all it's left to do see here is bring up our screws to the third floor bring up the wire that we're making over here to the third floor then out of that door right here is going to go up to the third floor that is going to be making our chips and then the fourth and last thing we're going to need plastic again upstairs so this is why i put the plastic coming back down and around because we're going to need another in and out of plastic around here somewhere so i was thinking maybe maybe if that lines up well with the three door one I'll put all the plastic going in and out on the same on the same side and we'll make it real busy right here so um, I guess that's enough for the second floor and the first floor so I'll go ahead and start getting ready for the the very last floor the last floor is not going to be very big but it's a little bit more complicated ah look at this view isn't this absolutely freaking beautiful man I wish I could have a house right on the side of the waterfalls like that. That'd be so sweet. But enough with that. We got computers to make. So I went and hooked it all up. Uh, this is my crazy, crazy mess of uh, 
Yeah, of uh, pretty much all where everything's gonna go. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be pretty awesome. Alright, so let's go get on with the show. So let's start with the plastic. And then we'll put this through. That's the screws. Then over here, we got uh, the wire. And we got the computer chips. And we'll let that all fill up. Let's see how that goes first. That's going to all fill up all nice and neat all the way down to the bottom. And then once it all stops, I'd like to just add power to that and we'd be good to go. Yes, good to go. So at the same time, I just want to let you know that all the walls that were separating every factory, um, I took them all down. Uh, this is going to be one factory all the way through. So there's not going to be any dividers going all the way through it. I removed all those. Um, I also finished off the walls going all the way around. <clears throat> and I've also finished off the, uh, the roof as well. So yeah, those are some pretty awesome things that I've done in the meantime as well as... Um, I guess setting all this up. So now I guess we'll be good to go to... Oh, I don't think I programmed all these things either. So we could add power to it. And I don't think we went and we programmed any of these. So, yeah. Computers. Computers. Oh my boy. Can't believe I didn't do this. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. But we will. We do have everything in there though. So that's all that matters, right? We will be producing computers uh, at a very slow rate, <clears throat> but I figure it was like almost 19, 19 a minute. That shouldn't be too bad, right? A 19 a minute doesn't seem too too bad. With well, 18.75, I guess, per minute. But I'll round it up to 19 just because you know we can do that. There we go. So there, all the computers should be being made in there anyways. And eventually we'll start seeing computers go with that way. Oh there, wow, that's intense. This is going to be like a huge, huge drain on my resources by the way. Uh, let me just check the power out. How's power doing? Oh, 1100, 1200. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. We're still floating about the halfway halfway mark between that but we should be getting I didn't put anything to go down yet and I didn't make any storages for this one either hmm maybe I could make a storage for it let's just uh, go like this and like that and make organization and industrial I want to flip it around yeah one should be good right yeah I think one is good enough and we can put those ones into there, and we can take them and put them there like that. So eventually, we'll get computers, and they will fill up. Oh, there we go. We got three computers on there already. That's awesome. That is awesome. My God. All right, so I guess that's almost it. I am going to let this thing AFK. And once we get a thousand computers and a thousand frames, uh, the heavy modular frames, um, I got it probably a thousand motors already, easy. So once I collect all those resources, we'll come back and we'll finish off the episode by doing our upgrade and unlocking our next tier. So I'll take one last little cut. So this is going to be a very long one because. A thousand computers is going to take quite a while to make. Alright everybody, so I figure we're going to conclude this episode with um, doing a tier 6 upgrade instead. Because waiting for around for the stuff for that is going to be a little while. And at the same time too, I think this would be good for us just because the fact that we can get the belts and um, gas generators. Because... Uh, electricity and power right now is a little bit of an issue and our build system is a little bit of an issue too so let's go ahead and select this milestone I went ahead and grabbed uh, all the stuff for this so that way we don't have to wait and voila now 
miles still ahead. reach, the fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Awesome. Thank you, Eva. Alright, so let's go check this stuff out. Uh, logistics. Okay. Beams. That's it? That's what it is? Oh. Wow, that's going to be so much better. Alright, so I guess you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, while in between episodes, I'm going to go and upgrade every single belt that we have. Because in case industrial beams... I got lots of those. I have a nice little stockpile of those. So I'm going to go do that. And in the next episode, we'll come back and we'll have all tier 4 belts all over the place. Um, and we'll start working on more power. We're going to do that fuel, uh, that other different fuel, like gas fuel. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time.